Welcome back, founding champions. Welcome back. Guess what? Look at your screen. We have Scar Brand. This is a Scar Brand deck list video. And check it out. Is that Scar Brand on the mat? We all knew it was coming. Gen Con Matt's got Scar Brand. Gen Con Matt also is signed by the creators, if you didn't know. <laughs> I know I point that out like every third video or so, but I do love it. And we do have this deck list, and it has three new cards from Onslaught. We got Scar Brand and two copies of Bloodmaster Herald of Corn. Costs two, but gives you two health points. I think that's awesome. Now, we do want to get ourselves to 15 health, but. We do, it's okay starting at a high health because then we get more time to draw cards and stuff like that and sort of turbo, excuse me, shouldn't have eaten that taco before making the video. Shouldn't have made, um, make, uh, basically turbo rotating this card. So we do get that extra amount of time. So it's okay to have 35 health starting off, but it's also okay to swap any of these guys out for something that you think is a little stronger. Um, or, you know, maybe you can get some sweet effects off it, whatever. So we're going to go ahead and put these to the side. This is 9 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2. So we have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We do have four more points to play with. So keep that in mind for any, you know, uh, additions or changes to the deck you'd like to make. Um, without further ado, let's get into the blessings. The blessing lineup is exactly the same as it's always been. I have made no changes to the blessing lineup in this chaos deck just because we have these three high damage output cards, these two being insane, um, and these just being able to do some damage, and then because units are still very popular, we play this card. Uh, you can actually change this card out for some sweet uh, other cards that do, uh, I guess, a, a decent amount of damage. Um, so I'm going to pull these up in front of you. So you can do damage with like Trials of Fire, uh, not that one. You can do damage with Purifier Brazier, um, Embrace of Akshi. So you can put some sweet blessings in there, not Cleansing Brooch, obviously. Uh, this one just does three damage to your opponent, increases one, but for every highlight unit, we don't have that many units though. Um, so, I mean, you get to just sort of pick and choose. You can do Clawing Lava. That way you get to sort of choose when you kill uh, your opponent's creatures rather than Outrageous Carnage doing it automatically. So you do have your options in the Colorless Blessings. So I think one of those might might uh, sort of push this blessing out of the deck eventually. But that's just how I have it so far. I'll move those to the side. Uh, next up we're going to go with the, the units. We're pretty unit light in this deck as you can manage with Scarbrand. We want to play a lot of abilities. So we're very unit light, uh, but we do want to play a unit to sort of get these damage corners off easier. Uh, we have Fearless Core Graphs, a nice staple almost for destruction or excuse me, chaos decks. We have three Blood Reavers, a good five point swing, also removes a lot of our last stand effect units, which we have three units next that all have last stand effects. So that's going to be three Gore Slick Skull Reapers, three Blood Fury Wraith Mongers, and three Fanatical Skull Fiends. So, uh, Fanatical Skull Fiend and Insatiable Blood Reaver are actually the weaker units of the deck. I uh, just, you know, I do want to play that unit that does damage twice, like the for this guy. Uh, but I do want to have continue having uh, units on a short fuse for my Blood Reaver Chieftain. This deck can reliably uh, flip over two blessings, I think. Um, and that, that's about it before the game ends, either by your opponent killing you or you killing them. Um, so that's why we have those two, and we want to try and flip them over. So I keep the short fuse guys in the deck. Um, we have some self-damaging to get us to that 15, so we can sort of control, uh, at a small level at least, our own life total. Um, and be able to get Scarbrand off to start doing damage um, w sort of when we want to rather than our opponent dictating that. Um, because they could simply just not get you below 15 and then they could stockpile and set up their board. And we don't really want that to happen too much. And, um, and there's a lot of synergy. We're gonna, we're gonna see some more synergy here when I finish out uh, the rest of the deck. We have three opportunity strikes. Again, when you're going first, this card is insane. Five damage right off the bat. Not bad, not too shabby. All right, let's put these off right here. Make some room. 
Uh, next up here is Strike. Um, obviously, lots of damage. Can't complain. Three Demonic Furies. Two damage to yourself, but we're going to hit our opponent for five damage. Pretty good. A lot of damage all at once. Uh, Chaos decks haven't been playing too many Demonic Furies, but now we have the perfect opportunity. And Scarbrand is a demon. And then we also have two Blood Masters, so in case they sort of turn off Scarbrand, we're, we're good to uh, play it in another lane. Three Reckless Abandons. Uh, usually sacking your own guy to do damage has not been a very good effect in the other card games. Uh, in niche decks, kind of. But finally we have a mainstream deck where this is very good. Because our units have last stand effects, so you get cool things when they die. And nothing happens once he gets to its last corner. Once he gets to its last corner, it's useless. So you might as well just chuck it at your opponent, right? So it's a very good card for just the synergy of the deck. And then of course, three blood hunts to remove uh, opposing health gain effects, to remove uh, damage reduction. We do want to sandbag this for when it's most opportune, not just fast fire it off when we when we get the opportunity. So a very good card. Gain of health, again, sort of controlling our life total. So if we get too low, those those health gains can, can help us out a little bit. Um, and that's, that's the list, guys. I'll try and put a link in the description. Uh, if not, just give me a little reminder. So we together, we are the Fifth Grand Alliance, and we're going to work on this deck, guys. This, this deck isn't finished. It's not done, and there's a lot that you can do to make it better. So go ahead and comment. Start a discussion if you'd like. What would you put in? What would you take out? What cards you like? What cards you don't like? Etc. And I hope you have an outstanding, amazing rest of your day. Thanks for watching.